vocês. Internet dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we build famous movie and television sets in Minecraft in hopes of one day creating a machinima with them. I am Jeff, as always, and welcome back to the show. Sorry we missed last week, life got in the way, and there's a cow walking in Hill Valley. <sighs> you are not Marty. Go. Go away. Go away. Ah. Anyways, um, as you guys saw in that time lapse, we finished off the side streets. And hold on, I'm coming to this in a second. Uh, finished off the side street buildings. Uh, kind of got through the rest of the build as quickly as possible. I know it's a little long, but again, we have a lot to build, and that would have been just really boring to show it all on camera. Um, there is still a couple little details I want to do. I want to come back in through with the tree tool. Uh, oh, that was the other thing, as you might have noticed. I actually was able to upgrade my magic wand tool uh the world edit uh plug to the newer version so i could continue to use some of these uh the newer blocks in it which made my life so much simpler and made the building of this so much quicker uh anyways what i was doing is i was actually going through looking for screenshots uh to kind of try to help me build out this area and i had noticed a few things that i had not done correctly um one little details i didn't get that little peek there and then i realized i was completely wrong uh on the bank and the little sign thing over here um just completely off completely off so as you noticed uh, about halfway through there that i completely rebuilt the entire this half of the bank uh it didn't actually have that little lower edge here i don't know where i saw that or what screenshot i thought that was it it actually good continues all the way across and then i decided to break up some more of uh instead of it just being these flat surfaces which i realize now i probably could do technically with the existing building but uh, if i do that it'll be later um i pushed everything 
everything back just to kind of give it a little bit of a depth. Uh, again, as we were just stating before, I hate when things are just a flat surface. This looks stupid and boring, so I kind of like this. Uh, also, because I rebuilt this, I realized that the uh, little marquee, or not the marquee, but the billboard uh, section that's next to it is actually only two signs. Um, this is, you know what, we're going to get rid of that because I don't like how that fills up. Um, it's actually only two signs, and then it's completely different structure than what I had, so I tore that down and rebuilt all of that. Um, and then again, just uh, for completion, I, I filled in the back with black uh, wool as well as the roof. There is supposed to be a whole bunch of trees back behind this billboardy structure. Uh, again, like I said, that's what I'll fill in when I can get the tree tool working. I'm not sure why it's not working. There's also supposed to be like a, like a tree and a bush right there, which is why that is open. Okay, so there was that. Uh, we finished the rest of the street here, and I'll try to go slowly through this. Um, as you can see, there's a. Ugh, that was just that was kind of hard actually. This was this was tough because I, I tried also putting in some of the street signs. There's only so much we can do um, with these in Minecraft, at least at this scale. Um, but uh, lots of different heights, lots of different levels. Tried to kind of recreate some of the the awnings here for it. Uh, uh, I actually had to kind of reposition these buildings from when I initially started doing the layout because this wasn't quite right. Once I got some additional screenshots, I realized this was this was not exactly the way I wanted it. Um, I do like this. I just, I don't know, I like this. <laughs> and nope, uh, yep, I made a little tiny black room right here that uh, does not go any further because really it shouldn't, nobody should really be going up this, but... Um, so yeah, so yeah, so this is the whole thing. And then I kind of took liberty. Oh, wow, oh, man, I forgot a section down here. Nice, look at that. All right, well, hey, let's fill this in right now. Uh, we're just gonna cheat and do this. Actually, you know what, no, we will do this. Eh, where is it at? There it is. And then, if I recall correctly, it should be that one. Hey, I remember the code. Okay, so uh, in the... According to the screenshots, as far as I can tell, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a street, well, obviously, we, we know this, there's a street that goes here and all. Uh, uh, we're not going to obviously build out that direction um, because the way that the movie theater is, is it's kind of angled, so this road itself is going to go off towards that horse. Um, also, real quick, before we get too far into this, um, I did, after, again, kind of studying some of these screenshots, oops, I kicked the microphone, sorry, um, after studying some of the screenshots from the movie as well as some of the uh, behind-the-scenes photographs, I did realize that my uh, my complaint about how, like, oh, it doesn't look like they actually built the rest of the, the, the building, while it's technically true, uh, what is actually back here in the movie is supposed to be a car mechanic. It's like a car shop. So this is all from about, probably about here-ish on back is all, like, metal excuse me, metal sheeting, so, uh, and then with lights on there, and there's a bunch of cars parked out here, uh, there's no actual sidewalk, there might be, but it's just not as wide, um, I'm not gonna do that, because if we do that, it would make the clock tower actually really thin, and really tiny, it would actually probably only make it that thick, and that's not thick enough, I would prefer it to actually be a full courthouse. So we're gonna leave it like this. So that is gonna be, again, one of those little creative liberties that I'm planning on taking uh, and not actually doing exactly what I suppose I should be doing or what is based upon the movie. Uh, I just, I think it looks better. So let's push this out. So what I did leave is, oh, you know what? Let's go over to the other side real quick. Before we start on the movie theater, we'll go over here and we'll see what I built over on this side. Um, I didn't really put as much time and detail into this half as I did over there, mostly because this side is, again, the side that doesn't really get used and there's not a ton of good uh, photographic references for this side of the uh, the set, even even with the, the locations that take place in, or the parts of the movie that take place in it, is generally all facing this direction, or at most, I found one moment in part one that's like this. So really, you don't get a good look at what is back here, um, except for momentarily there is a shot that's like, that is kind of like here, but then there's, oh, you know, it's over here. It's kind of like this, but yeah, like the trees in the way. So you can only, you can only kind of only see about this much. Um, 
Now you're probably wondering about this wall right here. Uh, this is not done. I, uh, just, I'm not going to finish this right now. Uh, what this actually is in the movie, it does in fact dead end the rain. Seriously. So tired of the rain. Um, this is, um, I probably could set that to be higher. Couldn't I, can I do this? <laughs> Aha. Nope. I just turned it on for that long. Go off. There you go. Um, so what this actually is, is it is a solid wall here. It, it, it's designed to kind of look like a building. I think there's a giant billboard on it. There's a parked car next to it. Um, the street does not go all the way through there as I had originally uh, kind of designed and planned it to. Uh, it does kind of stop pretty much right next to this building and then the road goes off that way. Um, I just realized that I did not do this. So what I did is I kind of just started the blocking of where that wall is going to be and again it's one of those where it's going to be behind you know it's behind the courthouse for the most part and again we're never going to be filming that direction um if anything it's just going to be in the background so it being over there behind bushes and trees and people and cars and out of focus and all that stuff i'm not really too worried about that side um this theater the essex theater that is over here ugh, that was I'm not entirely 100% happy with this build, but it will do us, it'll do okay for what we want. Um, I did make sure to get the arch in here because this is where Marty walks around the corner and then comes here and then sees this and then gets hit by the, not get hit by the car, but barely hit by the car. And then, yeah. So anyways, so that is that side. So we have both sides of the courthouse. I'll get up here just to kind of get you like a bird's eye view of everything that we've built so far for it. So this is pretty much the courthouse square, uh, back lot set at, uh, <laughs> and universal. Um, we are going to today for the end of this uh, run, we are going to quickly build out the O town movie theater. Sorry, not the O town. That's a band. The town, <laughs> uh, movie theater that's back here, which really shouldn't be too hard. And then also I think it's the Holtz diner. It's a little yellow building. That's right here. Basically it's a single facade. Um, we're not gonna go into crazy, crazy uh, detail with anything. So, uh, it's just going to kind of keep it simple. So let's build this out just so I can have my corner. I do, 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 do. Um, yeah. So, uh, here we go. Let's, uh, let's figure this. Now that the trick is, is that it is in fact at an angle. So let's make you go out more cause I can always cover you. Um, and here we'll do this over here as well. Just so it goes out. Okay. So, oops, my thing is covering my screenshot. There we go. Um, and actually, for that matter, this thing is not even, <laughs> this is not even, uh, it doesn't even go that far back here. So these are far, far enough down here that they figured you're not going to notice. Um, okay. So this is the edge of the building. We are going to start. Now it starts correct. It starts flush. So maybe I should go there, pull that out to there. So this is, this is the first corner. Uh, we'll, we'll fix this in a second. Okay. So then what it does is it then it turns at an angle. All right. So what I want is I want, Oh, give me something different. Let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we got? What do we got? I don't want to use wool. Wool is weird. Um, Remember back in the day before we actually had colored clay and everything had to be made basically out of wool. That was the only thing that was <laughs> any color. And holy crap, I I don't miss those days. Um, because that was just so annoying. Because because like everything always had that that fear. Well, basically, and it actually did happen to me a couple times where things just burnt down. Because you know stuff got hit by lightning and the whole thing got burned down. Then at that point, so it was like, oh, that kind of sucks. Um, all right, so this is, we're going to have this be a more gradual, uh, yeah, angle and not a, not such a harsh angle. So that goes about there. What, let's see here. What are we looking at? So that's okay. So actually, so the way this is set up, there is, oh, that's going to be so confusing. Um, so this is the wall. It changes color here. There is a bevel out there. I wonder if I shouldn't do that. Oh, that's all the, oh, that is all that. It's all tile. We don't have anything for tile, do we? What do we have for red? Hmm. 
Oh, crap. I guess we're going to have to use the red clay, not the brown clay. Okay. Okay, go away. Everything go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Um, yeah, this will be better. So maybe we'll maybe we won't do that little out that jut out. There is a little bit of a jut out, but because of the way that we're building this, that might look a little goofy. Um, so we go back here, and then there's going to be uh, there's a door here. So we're going to go up like th oh we got to remember that this is going to need. Uh, okay, we're going to actually have to move this whole thing back then. Because I got to remember to get the we have to have a uh, sidewalk in here. So we're going to move that back three. We will just put the sidewalk in here then. And then we'll copy and paste. Yes, I realize that this street is actually also um, a little narrower than this one is, but that should be okay. We're not going to worry too much about this back one because, again, it's only a back street. It's not really something that's going to be in camera for the most part. Um so I'm not going to be too concerned about it. So, okay, so this is the sidewalk, and then sidewalk, and sidewalk. I'm just going to kind of follow the angle that we're building with this. Um, now, uh, we are going to continue this just like this. Okay, and then this is actually going to fill in, so it's going to get a little bigger right through here because this is the underpass. The sign is right here. Um, and this is why I wanted to do this, is I wanted to fill all this in so I could see how high we were, because then this is actually going to be, um, the door goes right up to there. Eh, okay. So we'll, maybe we'll just, we're going to fake this. We're going to kind of do as best as we can. Um, so the door, the other door will be there then. Hmm, maybe it should be here. Yeah, it's going to be there. Uh, so then we have a break in it. And then we have double doors. And then the other side of the wall. And you know what? So that would have been two. One, two, one, two. Beautiful. Okay, this actually does come back out like that. So then we will just kind of fake continue that. The structure of the building is a little odd anyways right there. And then we're going to go out... We're going to go like, actually, if that's my out, that's my wall. Oh, nope, we're done. Then that's it. Okay, so then that is the theater. Now this goes this whole length. So, oops, we're going to just bring that up. Yep, that's enough for the door. And we're just going to do this all the way over. So then this is the height of the red. Oops. The yellow goes up higher than that. Go away. The yellow actually comes up above this oh my goodness nope nope no nope, no nope, nope. okay so okay we'll come back to that in a second so then there's the red there's the red let's get the doors in here we're gonna I'm doing these iron doors on here so that way nobody can just like walk around and open up the doors that actually kind of prevents the people from getting into these we will just do this so that way there's a structure there so then i can place that place that place that play play that's right, you have to do it from here. Place the door. Do do. There we go. Yeah, that works. That's good enough. Um, this door's not quite there. It's actually supposed to be on an angle, but whatever. That's good enough there. Um, all right, so then there's that. So then actually that goes straight up. Okay, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to give it a two-block spacing here for where the sign is going to be. This just comes up like this. I figured I would leave this guy it's starting to look like a McDonald's. Um, really crazy McDonald's. It just the colors, not the actual. Anyways, um, no, I figured I would leave this one for the build just because it's the final build, and then we'll be all done with this. And I thought this would be, this is kind of an iconic location in the movie. Um, that is a pull. So this needs to go up one more. Then I will explain what I'm doing here in a second. It's kind of hard to do this and talk simultaneously. At least talk about stuff that's interesting. Um, so this is actually, that's okay. So that is a line. See, a fence can't go that way. Uh, what can we use for that? I want to be able to break up the, the line a little bit. Do I just maybe... 
Because the slabs, we don't have anything good for slabs. Slabs are all those. Slabs, there's no color that would work correctly. So maybe we just don't put that line in. All right, we're not going to put that line in. Okay, so then that's at the top. And then about, let's see here. So that's one, two, three, so on this one. So we're going to go up here. This is where it's going to get tricky because I'm not the greatest when it comes to some of this stuff. So there's that. So that's on the threes of the curve. And the fourth one, it goes straight up. Okay, so this is actually the where it goes straight up. And we're going to go up to there. So that's the top. And it's going to be above that one. Actually, what I should do is I could fake this, couldn't I? Yes, I could. Let's just go up here then instead. So we're kind of just faking that curve is actually happening. Okay, then we need a blue. Give me, what do I got for a good blue? Light blue. Orchid. Yes, let's use the orchids. Um, I wonder if I couldn't use the glass. Okay, so hear me out on this. Let's uh, let's try that. Let's do this, and then we're gonna come back here with this. Oops, that comes down there like that, and then we do like this, and then we come over. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. This is up like that, and then there, and then that. Okay. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. I'm well aware of that. So, no, this. So now what I'm questioning, what I can do is if we can put glowstone behind this. So I'm, okay, so the, the photo that I'm using for reference right now is a nighttime photograph of the location. Um... And I'm wondering if I can't fake it and actually light this blue portion so that way it would look correctly. We're going to, okay, we are going to, I'm going to take some liberties with this. We're going to fill that in. So I, what I kind of want to do is it's a really nice glowing blue light. And I'm curious to know. Huh? Did I just, just ah? <laughs> That's right, we gotta do zero, don't we? Ah. Oh. Yep, this is why you guys watch this. <laughs> uh, let's go 48. That's just half the day. Oh my goodness. 9,600. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna work on this. We're gonna see what this looks like later on. Um, I think this will work actually. I think I think this is gonna work well. So what this is just gonna do is it's just gonna give us a nice kind of like glow effect here. I know that's going a little lower than I need it to be, but I'm going to be better safe than sorry. And then there we go. Okay. So with that, let's I just don't like now this is ruined. I don't like how this is. Do that. We're gonna do that. Okay. All right, that's just gonna, you know what? It's not impressive enough for me. <laughs> and there we go. So we do that. Give me my glass. And if this glass doesn't work, I'll just replace it with something else. So, okay. Yes, that I like. I like that. Okay, so let me get my white clay out. And then, doop -a doop -a doop -a doop -a doop. Um, so the white clay is going to be the sign. Oh, what do we got here? So it does not go up there. It actually comes out here. And I want this to be, we're going to do two, do two, we do three. Maybe we do three. We do three out there. And then we're going to do glowstone. Give it to me there. There we go. All right, then we're just going to come out like that and then come out one more. Oh, oh, that needs to be over. Nope, 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 nope. All right, so that actually has got to be there. 
We gotta do a smaller mount there. And then we could do that. We could do that there. And then we go there, so a two, and then... Uh, actually, I wonder if we shouldn't just not stretch that out if we just go straight back. Because that's kind of how it looks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Except I don't like that now. Ugh. You guys are watching this going, what the hell is he doing? What's wrong with him? I know. Trust me. Um, all right, we're going to do that. There we go. And we're going to bring you all the way up like that. And then we are going to fill in this gap from the underside because we're actually in the top and the bottom because we you wouldn't walk underneath this and see. We're going to leave this open up here because then we can technically fill all this in. I suppose we could do this on the underside, couldn't we? Like that. And just spackle them like so. So then that also lights it in the nighttime. And then we will do a quartz slab on the underside just to kind of make that uh, look a little nicer. Give it a little depth there. Not have it be so... There! What is that? No, I want this there. Uh, alternate. Yes, okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. And well, I guess that does go one lower. There we go. All right. Okay, so. Uh, -ba -do -ba -do. We need to come. So we're going to just fake that there, like so. All right, and now the Holtz Diner, which is right next to it, um, actually does overlap it. And this goes, oh, do we have another yellow? No, it's just that. Because I don't want to use the yellow wool. All right. This all is kind of the same color uh, going along this whole line. So I was just trying to see if I couldn't, you know, put another color in it. All right, let's go all the way up here. Actually, we're just going to paint this out for first. This is just going to, um, actually, nope, 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 nope. I got to. I had to keep doing it the same style. So we do two, and then do two, and do two, and do two, and do two. Yeah, that's gonna be good enough. All right, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Too high. Literally too high, there we go. So then, and then, okay, so now this one has we're gonna do this on it, just cause that'll kind of help give it a little something different. Uh, it has something of like a like a bar going across it, anyways. Um, cause actually that's where the name of the place is sitting on top, which I can't do, but this will be, will be okay. And then we go two down. Okay, so then we have our street. Oops, streets. I got a sidewalk here, and then our sidewalk will continue to. Drop back like it should. Oh, not that one, this one. I was counting and not seeing where it was going. There we go. So then this, so much for that toggle downfall, huh? There we go. No. Well, that would have been the lightning storm that I would have needed. <laughs> okay, Um. this one, let me look. Do I have a better photograph of this area? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Yes, I do. What is this? Oh, there is a... I am missing the post. That's got to come down here. So, we're going to... Yeah, actually, let's look at the fences. We have a dark one. We got a dark one. Dark oak. We're going to use this guy. Because there is a uh, support beam out there oh and also looking at this uh that is all open road oh they have that open for parking oh that's interesting so okay so i have to change this a little bit here guys and gals um that goes to there this is actually this does not have a sidewalk to it. This is all open parking spaces for the cars to park on. So, 
I bet you it must stop right there then. So we're just going to go like that. And we are going to push this all the way into this. Good enough. Doesn't matter if it goes behind it. So that is open parking. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. I will just put a couple quick lines for vehicles. What did we do? We did our vehicles as three, didn't we? No, we did our vehicles a little wider than that. No, three. Three. Parked, middle drive. Yes, three. So we're just going to do one, two, three. We're going to come out here. All right. <laughs> God, it looks horrible. All right. We're not going to do that. So that's three. Go here. And then oh, enough space for one more. All right. So we'll just go out. We'll go do that. Oh. Just fill in these gaps. Nope, we'll fill in these gaps. And all right, so there's enough parking for two cars. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, there you go, Jeff. Awesome. All right, so good enough. I don't like where that. Oh, well, I guess that's gonna have to be what we're gonna do, though, aren't we? Okay. So there is a support beam there. I may or may not get rid of that support post just because I think that looks stupid. All right, we're just going to put this all back. Okay. So, all right, so then there's that. There's that. And then the diner over here, I do have a photograph of to go off of. It's a very tiny, tiny photo, but it will help me. So, it's actually a photograph from uh, the... Uh, like, present 1985. Uh, so then what we got here is we have... Stairs up. There's a door here, which that's going to make. That's going to be interesting. How am I going to do this? Probably just do that and put the doors there. Um, and then there is windows. These are all windows. Which, now having built this the way I have, that's that's going to be that's going to be interesting. Um, let's do the glass. So maybe we just do the blocks. Okay, so this is one of those few occasions where I'm actually just, I am going to use the glass blocks. I don't tend to like using the glass box. I just feel like they don't have, I don't know. They just, I don't like how thick they are. I Again, this goes back to the whole depth thing. I, I, I like there being like some depth of these, not just a flat surface. Now that is going to be a problem, isn't it? It is a double door. Uh, do we just build this one? But that's going to throw all those off, isn't it? Oh. So maybe... Maybe this one... Uh, okay, so uh, to explain what I'm doing here. the I don't like the fact... The door's gonna, the door sits open like that, and I don't like that. So we need to move the doors over and give a separation. I know that's not exactly how it is in the... In the again, the real model, but again! Creative liberties! Yay! Um... Just knock you back, and we go there, and we get rid of you. There we go. Okay, and then that's one, two, three. Actually, we need to do one more row of these. And then we will... Uh, yeah, we're going to go up. We're going to extend this out just a little bit more. So, hit, do, do, hit, do, do. Just like this, like that, excellent. And we're gonna go out and then we'll put that there and that's my connecting one. All right, and let's finish off this. And then we just gotta put in the road and then we'll put in the background behind the building. And this is done. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. I did not expect that to go so easily. <laughs> uh, what do we do for here? We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so then we get two there, and then two there, and then two there, and then two there. Oh, that's the three. There we go. Okay. All right. So um, we are believing... So, okay. 
here's kind of how this is going to run because the machinimas are going to take some time to actually produce and act out and get the other uh, get some of the other uh, people to help make those i can't make them all myself um there's going to be a little bit of a gap between uh, me finalizing this me finalizing don't know why i said it that way uh and the machinima actually coming out i don't i i sadly do not have the time to actually put the machinima together right away so uh we will it will come out eventually uh it's gonna happen i promise because that was the whole point of this series uh and also just for me to build in minecraft because i like building in minecraft um but we will start immediately on the next uh build so next episode we're gonna start right away on on whatever we decide to go for next which i'm right now i'm kind of leaning towards the bates motel i think that'd be a kind of just an interesting plus it'd also be a hell of a lot smaller of a build <laughs> than this thing was um which would be kind of just a nice little change of pace but uh and what i'm gonna do for it then is i'm going to push myself way way from here uh probably go out in one of these directions like maybe we actually go straight straight out that way i'll build the road so i can find my way back here um but because it's supposed to be out in the middle of the country in the middle of nowhere i want it far enough away from this that as we continue to build we can place being like oh okay so we can place another small town you know back lot here if we decide to or we build neighborhoods or something I, i'm not going to create a separate map for each build uh if that makes any sense that that's nine I guess it just looks really tiny doesn't it mm. okay so maybe we just fudge it let me push this back because that looks way too tall way too small for me I just I don't like it I don't like it not at all ah, let's do that uh, so yeah anyways so don't freak out when the uh, next series starts and it's not there's no machinima out for this yet it's coming it will happen i promise uh, <laughs> so i mean i know that holy crap that looks huge oh well oh well um wow that's just so far down there isn't it so okay well all right well that's kind of it really so but all right we're just going to do this we're going to do this we're going to pull this out um there is a bill okay there is a company here so there's gonna be a door there and then my guess is this window 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 and then we'll fill all this in like so and then we'll go back to the normal glass for this so we're gonna fill in you do, do, do. And then we'll do doors. And this one's, these ones will do a different door because I want to. <laughs> just way out there all by itself. Uh, no, I wanted to just break up the doors so they don't look the same. Okay. <laughs> yes, put it right there, game. Good call. Um, all right, so we're going to just pull you out a little bit just to give this some depth through here. Do, 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 do. Uh, but basically, so what this will do is once the series is finished, like this, this section is all said and done. Um, I will probably go back from time to time and kind of tweak this. And I expect there to be some additional tweaks, uh, as I, uh, as we get prepared for the machinima, like that's going to be something that's going to need to, I'm probably going to have some work done on these that I don't show on camera. And that's just because you don't need to see everything that i do on camera that's unnecessary there's there's going to be little tweaks but when we get ready for it and when we actually start setting up the camera shots and be like oh okay so we actually need to go a little further here than i expected okay so we can build off that and we'll 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 like i'll probably finish off that if we end up having a camera that shows that portion of it um but like stuff like that's going to be all just done off camera that doesn't need to be done on camera just because that's kind of boring you guys don't want to see that uh so, but when you actually see the, the machinima, way too high, way too high. Uh, when you actually see the machinima, you'll see little things that might be a little different than what you last saw. And, uh, that's okay. So, actually, I'm going to... Nope, I can't do that because that's going to copy that. So, we do this. We do five. Ah, did it that way, didn't it? Yep. There we go. Just make life a little bit simpler, a little bit faster. 
And about there, go up. There we go. Yeah, this is so much simpler with the <laughs> with the magic wand tool. It goes by so much quicker. Um, oh, uh, other things, other 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 uh, uh, housekeeping while I finish up on this little portion. Um, if you guys ever have any ideas for builds that we can do for this, by all means, let me know. Let you know in the comments. I will uh, will will definitely respond back, and we'll we'll know what to, you know any kind of suggestions for TV shows or movies. Um, Anything that we can get good visual representation of it. Like I said, the, the base motel is a great one. Um, I do, like, I kind of, there's a part of me that kind of wants to build the Cheers set. If anybody remembers what Cheers was, the bar show. Uh, but, like, you know, Monica and Chandler and Rachel's apartment from Friends would be kind of an interesting build. Uh, Central Perk from Friends actually could also be interesting. Those would be kind of different because uh, they're inside an apartment complex. Which kind of means that once we figure out how they're going to be, that's going to be basically in more of like a New York-esque uh, city. Oh my goodness, that rain just does not like me today. Um, but So we'll, with those types of builds, we'll start building a... Uh, We'll actually start building like a New York, like a big city area, and we'll start putting those in there so that way we can have it be that they can walk out of the building, like walk out of their apartment, walk down the stairs, and actually be outside in the city. Um, I'd prefer it if it was locations, more fictitious locations from movies than uh, like, don't say like, oh, build a Rockefeller Center so we can do 30 Rock. That would be fun, but I don't want to go with more realistic locations at first. Let's do some more TV shows and, and fun stuff. Also, keep in mind that we're building this in Minecraft, and there is some limitations to what can be built and what can't be built. So just, yeah, again, keep that in mind. All right. So there is... Well, there's that. Huh. So maybe we will... Uh, I don't like that this is just empty. All right. Um, where is the? Uh, where's that? <laughs> where's the stuff? Yeah, that's really helpful. Um, actually, I don't even see it. Where is the? I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Here it is. The cracks down bricks. And then I just go ahead and I close it on myself like that. That's with monster egg. Nope. Just just putting things in. There we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to kind of do this here. I know it's not entirely as deep as it is in the movie, but we're going to kind of fill it in a little bit here just to have something kind of filling this section out. So, but yes, any comments, any questions, uh, anything that you have in there, let me know what you guys think of the series. If it goes too long, there's a couple of things that we are thinking about doing for the next, uh, next build. That's going to be a little different. Um, I definitely like doing the time lapses. Those kind of just make life a little simpler, but I will always, uh, always do this portion of the show where I will sit and talk and we'll go through some stuff. Um, just cause it makes it a little more interesting. So, all right. So actually with that gang, we might be done. I think we're done. Yeah, for, for the most part, we're done. Wow, okay. Let's go all the way back down here. So there, everybody. That's it. This is exciting. So we have so many options we can do here. Oh, there's a thing. Let me know what scene you'd like us to recreate. That would be kind of interesting to do. Um, I do have an idea for this first one, uh, definitely for the future ones. If you suggest a location to build, uh, also throw in a suggestion for what scene from the movie you would like us to try to recreate for it, because that'd be that'd make it uh, make it a little easier, especially for some of those like, okay, so we're going to be doing the base motel, but we know we're going to be doing the the shower sequence, so we need to know or we need to make sure we build that first. Uh, that first room out uh, in the hotel with proper shower so we can shoot that um, and obviously we're going to build the house in up on that hill which we're also going to start doing some uh i guess terraforming so we can get some of the hills and stuff and we'll do that all with the magic wand which is why i updated it uh also we are uh i'm probably gonna put my uh my me in the, the visual here uh, on a lower corner tiny little thumbnail or something along that line so you guys can see me and if that gets ugly and boring i just won't do that anymore <laughs> so but uh yeah so let me know what scene you guys might think uh would be good to recreate for this sequence uh, again keep in mind that we can't have cars that move 
Uh, so yes, I realize that the DeLorean, you know, going back to the future would be great to have for this sequence. Kind of can't make the car move without going into more mods, so just keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, let me know what you guys think, what sequences we would be kind of fun, or if you have an original idea that maybe takes the idea of from the movie and then kind of plays with it, we might do that as well. Or if you have an idea, let us know. Anyways, with this, let's do one more final fly around so you can see the whole thing. Let's go all the way up so you can see all of it. Uh, oops, we're losing the movie theater back there. So there is our Hill Valley Clock Tower set. I'm really proud of this, actually. This came out really, really well. Um, yeah, and again, it's not full buildings, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to see all that stuff. But that is everything. This is it. We'll go right here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good down there. <laughs> That actually came out a lot better than I expected it to. <laughs> uh, I was kind of worried about that because I'm like, it's such an, it's, it's all an angle, and I was terrified that it was not going to, you know, properly come out right. Like it wasn't going to look right because angle things do kind of look goofy in Minecraft if not done correctly. But well, besides a few little tweaks and adjustments and all that stuff, I think we, I, I, I'm pretty positive I can call this build done. So with that, let me land here. <laughs> Right there. Okay. With that, kiddos, we are finished with the Back to the Future Clock Tower series. I hope you guys had fun. I know I did have fun building this. It's definitely one of my favorite movies, so I look forward to future projects that we work on. Um, yeah. I kind of can't wait to start working on the next series. So let me know what you guys thought about this series. Let me know if there's any comments or questions you have regarding it or any changes you'd like to see or any future builds that you'd like us to try to take a stab at. Um, I know there's a potential that we're going to start bringing in other people to help build these. So it's not just me talking to myself. Uh, that'd be nice. But uh, until that time, it's just me, Jeff Bell, with Bit by Block. I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.